Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new tutorial from Kanyas Arts. My name is Seanak Patwardhan and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to quickly create snowfall in After Effects. I will be using Trapcode Particular for this tutorial. This is a third party paid plugin. So just something to keep in mind. Let's dive right in. All right, so open up After Effects and let's create a new composition by pressing Ctrl or Command N on the keyboard. And let's change this to full HD 1920 by 1080 at 30 FPS. Press OK. Now let's create a new solid and press OK. And I'm going to search for the particular effect. If you double click the effect while the layer is selected, it'll get applied automatically to the layer. Now for the emitter options, I'm going to change this to 350. This is the number of particles that are generated from here. If you want a heavier snowfall, just crank that number up. So next is the emitter type. I'm going to change this to a box. And for the emitter size, change this to XYZ individual. Since this is a 1920 by 1080 comp, the X value can be anything more than 1920. I'm going to change the particle size X to 2600 just so that I have a little bit of a margin to play with my particles. The Y can be zero, but I'm going to give this a little bit of a margin too. So I'm going to change this to 100. And the emitter C changes to 2100. We have a little bit of a depth here. Now let's go to the particle options. And first of all, let's change the life from three to six. And let's change the particle type from sphere to a cloudlet. And I'm going to remove the feather from the cloudlet. And I'm going to change the size to 2. Also, the size random, I'm going to crank it up to a full 100%. And size over life, I'm going to go for the fourth preset, which has this nice ease in, ease out. But at the beginning, I'm going to change this to a 100% size from the beginning of this composition. So the particles don't generate smaller and grow. They just generate from the same size. All right, so now this is set. I'm going to move this handle at the top so that the particles are generated from outside of the video. And let's go to the physics tab and go to the air options. And here, let's change the wind X to 100. So the particles kind of move a little bit uh, sideways so they don't just drop directly from the top. And for the wind Y, I'm going to change this to 300. Now, if you preview this, this kind of looks like a natural snow. Now, if you want to add a little more variation to the snowflakes, you can just duplicate this layer and change the random seed to any other number than the default number and change the size to maybe one. So now you have a little bit of a variation in the particles that are fallen. I mean, the snow that's fallen. You can also change some other properties, for example, since we gave a bit of a direction to the wind X here, I'm going to change that to zero. So not all the particles fall in the same direction. Now, this is what a natural snowfall would look like. But if you're looking for a stylized snowfall with snowflakes that actually look like individual snowflakes, there is a way to create snowflakes with random look directly in After Effects. Let's go. Let's create a new composition and let's call it Snowflake Precomp. I'm going to change this to 400 by 400 and keep the frame rate at 30. And I'm just going to pre-compose this and I'm going to call this snowflake. Uh, so open up the snowflake pre-comp first. To create a snowflake, there is a nice little trick that you can use in After Effects. Let's first create a very simple shape layer that looks somewhat like this. Now let's go to the snowflake comp and let's give this an effect called CC Collider. What this effect does is basically create a kaleidoscopic look to this. The size changes to 100 and the mirroring changes to starlish. For the rotation, I'm going to keyframe the rotation on the first frame, move to the end of the timeline and change the rotation to one now we get sort of an effect that looks like this right now. 
Now let's go to the snowflake pre-com and let's alter the shape a little bit. Now if you create some branches on this shape, that will reflect in the snowflake pre-com that we have created behind this. All right, so as you can see, I've created this, whatever this is, you can basically, I've just created one layer and kind of rotated it and scaled it down a little bit. So it creates this kind of a layer. And now if you open up the snowflake composition, you will notice that we have this interesting look and we can convert this into snowflakes. You might notice that some of these have this effect happening at the edges and I don't want that. Let's create an ellipse here. Now there's a trick, if you select the ellipse tool and if you double click on it, it will create an ellipse that spans to the boundaries of your composition. So if your composition was not square, the ellipse would be an actual ellipse instead of a circle. Right now, since the composition is a square, the ellipse here is a circle. Let's go to the snowflake composition and open up the track mat. If, that, if you can't see this, press the F4 key on your keyboard to toggle between these two modes. Let's change this to alpha mat. So now we have snowflakes. Go back to our comp one, drop this snowflake here. We don't really need it to be visible, so switch off the eye tool. I'm gonna switch off the upper layer for a minute, change this cloudlet to sprite. And go to the texture properties and change the layer to the snowflake that we have created. Change the random loop, random still frame, so that it doesn't animate. Of course, we'll need to change the size as well. Personally, I think something around eight would be nice. So now we have snow that looks like actual snowflakes. All right, guys, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. And if you found the tutorial interesting, hit the like button and consider subscribing to Kanye's Arts.